Today I am making a fantastic, fantastic, most delicious chocolate cake. And this is such a showstopper. It is a great uh, celebration birthday cake. It's so light and fluffy and it is most importantly very, very easy to make. Hope you guys will enjoy this recipe, but please don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every time I share a new recipe so you just don't miss out on all the good stuff. I'm going to start with 350 grams of caster sugar that goes into the bowl. To this, I am going to add 100 ml of vegetable oil. And then goes in four large eggs. Now I'm just going to whisk this um, till it combines well. Here I have got 200 ml of boiling water. And to this, I'm going to add two teaspoons of coffee goes in. And to this hot water goes in 100 grams of uh, cocoa powder. Make it into a nice paste. There you go. And also, the last thing to go in is 200 grams of buttermilk. And then combine it all up. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, so now here I have got uh, 300 grams of plain flour and to this I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of baking soda and last thing is one and a half teaspoon of baking powder and just combine it all up nicely and I whisk this for one minute um, and I'm just going to add all of this flour to the mix and then I'm going to start blending uh, like whisking it slowly and when it's starting to combine I'm going to slowly pour our chocolate mix And the last thing um, to go is two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now I'm going to whisk this for a minute and then put it in the cake tins. Just look at that mixture. That is beautifully rich, dark color, smells amazing. And I have got here four um, eight inch cake tins. Now I'm not using a loose bottom because this is really runny, so I would suggest use a cake tin that is, hasn't got a loose bottom if you can. I'm trying to make it as equal as possible. And then I've got the oven heating at 180C, 160 fan. These will go in for 15 to 20 minutes, but I'll keep a close eye. Here I have got 150 grams of unsalted softened butter. 
and to this i'm going to add double the amount of chocolate so here you can see i have got 300 grams of chocolate so i've got a mix of chocolate in here so some of it is 80 percent some of it is 75 and the rest is 62 because it all needs using up so that's 300 grams of dark chocolate in here and the last thing to go in two tablespoons of golden syrup and then I'm going to put this on the heat to melt it all very, very slowly. Wow, look at these. That is definitely done. So. Here I have got 300 ml of double cream and to this I'm going to just add the chocolate 300 ml of double cream to our chocolate mix And it's time to assemble the cake it smells so good and it is really soft the cakes have cooled down they were in the oven for around 22 minutes just in case have a look at how soft just how soft the sponge is beautiful so I'm going to put that on so this has been in the fridge for literally 10 minutes and it's um, quite nicely set. I'm just going to pass the whisk um, through it just to get rid of any lumps. Just going to get rid of this little... Hey! Oh, bless you! It's not me. Oh, look at that! In goes the icing. And then goes on another layer. And I'm just going to cut the this pump which is really annoying me last layer just look at that just look at that just
so soft. And just look at that texture. It is so soft and just stunning and I know it's a big slice, a big bite, but mm. that is delicious. Oh my god. The cake is so light. Oh that sponge is amazing and that is amazing just amazing it's so light and fluffy and it's such a gorgeous looking cake as well so i really do hope that you are going to give it a try very very soon don't forget to subscribe share comment and i will see you back again very soon for another new recipe bye for now so good guys i'm telling you mm.